These are the greatest prisoners to have ever graced the small screen. I got the worst attorneys. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 TV convicts. That's covering your ass in case there's a rapture. For this list, we cast our eye to those small screen prisoners with exceptional circumstances regarding their conviction. F*** it then. Which are prominent figures during their incarceration, or which play a key role in the events of the show in which they feature. Hey, Kate. Number 10. Roland Weebe Bryce, The Wire. You got Kimmy, Alex Aubrey, and Jezebel in here somewhere. I don't know, she thinks she's cute. A former top enforcer for the Barksdale organization, Weebe gained a huge reputation for taking the fall for many murders he did not commit. How about them witnesses? The security lady, and what's his name? The maintenance man. Although he is a killer, he cares deeply about those around him, most notably his closest friends and his son, Naaman. You got it where it counts, and I respect that more than anything. But shit out there now ain't like it was when we was coming up. Even in prison, he maintains his passion for keeping tropical fish while remaining an important influence on the events of the rest of the show. Just with my fish, though, hey, man, I don't... At heart, Bryce may well be a good person, but the environment he grew up in forced him into a life of crime. Number 9. Yvonne Atkins, Bad Girls I've read about you in the papers. I've read about you in the papers. Or about this place. Seems that I've come at a really interesting time. This British drama takes place in a brutal women's prison, but this particular convict sets out to help her fellow inmates. It's okay. Shh. <laughs> Yvonne Atkins is not a complete pacifist, however and has been seen fighting and even poisoning other inmates if it means protecting those close to her. You say one more word to my girl, and I'll have you kneecapped. This maternal instinct has helped her rise to the position of top dog of G-Wing, a status that means her life and level of influence are constantly under threat from those who believe they should be in power. Yeah, well, don't go getting too cocky. Just stay out of our way. Smile and be nice. Number 8. Big Otto Delaney, Sons of Anarchy and you'd throw me a recommendation. A full patch member of the Sons of Anarchy Motorcycle Club, Big Otto is fiercely loyal to the other Sons, to the point that he's prison raped and even bites off his own tongue to protest interrogation. Well, way to commit. While that is extreme, he is most of all dedicated to his wife, Luann. I gave Luann this crucifix my mother gave me. Even in the big house, Otto can't toe the line, and commits numerous violent acts in revenge for her death. For example, he kills a man with a screwdriver while on camera. It's from me. All of which adds years to his original six-year sentence. You take care of yourself on it. Number seven, George Bluth Sr., Arrested Development. They cannot arrest a husband and wife for the same crime. The first episode of this cult comedy hit sees the patriarch of the Bluth family sent to prison for doctoring the books of his housing company and doing shady deals with the likes of Saddam Hussein. Well, Saddam owed us money. You didn't realize that he wouldn't pay? Your mom had a good feeling about him. Despite charges of light treason hanging over him. There's a good chance I may have committed some light treason. He adapts to prison life incredibly quickly. I couldn't break away from the poker game. Capital G was down to his boxers. Strip poker? Yeah, and it's tough. He makes friends with inmates. What's up, pumpkin? Hey, T-Bone. Yeah. T-Bone's my roommate. Uh, he's a flamer. Gets invited to join various gangs and even founds his own personal version of Judaism during his incarceration. Glad well, I could make a difference. He also tries to profit from this newfound religion, releasing his own video on the faith aptly titled Caged Wisdom. Now's your chance to own the entire George Bluth Caged Wisdom Library. There's always money in the banana stand, or offering plate. How much clearer can I say, there's always money in the banana stand! No touching! No touching! No touching! No touching! No touching! No touching. Number 6. Loretha Cookie Lion, Empire. Cookie's coming home. An exceedingly talented music producer and businesswoman, 
Cookie Lion was forced to do some unsavory deals in order to establish her first successful company, Empire Entertainment. It was your sacrifice that made a lot of this possible. This criminal activity and the fact that the company was funded by drug money it was my 400,000 that started this bitch. You know it and I know it. Eventually caught up with her, translating into a 17-year prison sentence. 17 years later, you are still beautiful. Upon her release, she sets about restoring her musical empire by starting the label Lion Dynasty. The Lucia's line I knew would tell those idiots, the streets ain't made for everybody, that's why they made sidewalks. This stylish badass also doubled down on her resolve to do absolutely anything to give her children the best life possible. He's ungrateful and entitled, and you made him that way. Number 5. Simon Adebisi, Oz. I won't be f***ing you, Brock. At least, not tonight. In a prison full of sadistic and merciless criminals, this Nigerian stands out as the cruelest. Adebisi is serving a life sentence with no chance of parole for beheading a police officer. Feared by almost all other inmates at the maximum security state prison Oswald, including Augustus Hill. And I hate lawyers almost as much as I hate cops. He's been known to kill others in elaborate ways. For example, Adebisi killed a man by adding ground-up glass to his meals for an extended period of time. Ready? Almost. And murdered another by deliberately infecting him with HIV. Ow. Adebisi, you just pinch me? No, boss. Needless to say, this is not someone you want to mess with. You think because we have the same color skin, eh? Has some connection? Number 4. Sideshow Bob, The Simpsons Bart Simpson, <laughs> the spirited little scamp who twice foiled my evil schemes and sent me to this dank, urine-soaked hellhole. The intelligence of one of the greatest criminal masterminds in The Simpsons series is matched only by his penchant for theatricality. A volley of musketry flamed, thundered, roared! A profound silence followed. Originally a sidekick of Krusty the Clown, Dr. Robert Underdunk Terwilliger, alias Sideshow Bob, grows tired of his boss's mistreatment, but his plan to frame him is foiled by one Bartholomew J. Simpson. Attention, fellow children! Krusty didn't rob that store. Sideshow Bob framed him, and I got proof. While in prison, Bob obsesses over his revenge against Bart. Oh my god! Someone's trying to kill me! <laughs> Oh, wait, it's for Bart. Nearly all his schemes involve vengeance on the spiky menace, but they also inevitably end in Bob's reincarceration. My best laid plans of gang of lay. Well, that or a rake handle to the face. Number three, Piper Chapman, Orange is the New Black. I love you so much. It's okay. Based upon real-life money launderer turned author Piper Kerman, Chapman is a convicted drug trafficker and main character of this comedy drama. So for 50 grand on that bag, Kerman would have had you killed. For someone who looks so innocent, she is an incredibly complex character and often unsympathetic. Dear Mr. Christ, I know that um, I've done some things recently that have not been, have been up to your standards. She's shown the propensity to be cruel and manipulative to fellow inmates, but at the same time has the capacity for compassion and self-reflection, as her improving relationship with Red, the head chef, shows. This former PR executive has her world turned upside down and has to quickly work out how to deal with her new volatile environment and status as an inmate. I'll do my best. That's right you will. Number two, Kate Austin, Lost. Dangerous. She's dangerous. Throughout the first couple of seasons of this mysterious drama, we get a look at the life of crime Kate Austin led prior to the crash of Oceanic Flight 815 on the run for the murder of her mother's abusive husband and the brains behind at least one robbery. The girl is the one who set you up. As well as the owner of multiple aliases, Austin is a more multifaceted character than she may seem at first. After the plane crash, Kate is better known as a mother figure to Claire's child and a love interest for both Jack and Sawyer. So you can play games all you want, but I know there's a human being in there somewhere. 
to me the medication. But underneath it all, we know she is an undeniable badass. What the hell's going on here? Oh. Before we reveal our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Three queens. If I send you back to that compound, you're going to have to deal with the repercussions. And women like you, you're a, you're a soft target. The name, Dr. Richard Kimball. The destination, Death Row State Prison. The irony, Richard Kimball is innocent. You must be wondering what an average day in prison is like. Tell him Fletcher. It's exactly like a day before, Mr. McCoy. Number one, Michael Schofield, Prison Break. Are you sure about this, Mr. Schofield? I'm sure, Your Honor. Though fellow member of the Fox River 8, Teabag would have been a worthy addition to this list. I don't protect you, them rugheads gonna gobble you up. The younger Schofield is far more influential in driving the story of this show. He is perhaps the only voluntary convict on this list, as he gets himself imprisoned in order to break out his wrongfully convicted older brother. Michael meticulously prepares his brother's escape by tattooing his body with plans of the prison. You've seen the blueprints. Better than that. I've got him on me. And identifying other inmates who will be crucial in carrying out the plan. He is fiercely intelligent, so seeing how Schofield's next ingenious move pans out from episode to episode really makes for fantastic TV. And that's why he's got our top spot. Do you agree with our list? What the f did you do? Which prison inmates do you think make the most compelling television? I'm gonna get a lethal injection because my son won't eat a potato. For more criminally brilliant top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. <laughs> <laughs>